Hey there, this is Malorian. This is the hobby update for basically end of October going to November. Just talking about what's coming up, what I've been working on. And so I guess, yeah, happy Halloween. Uh, of course, I had the one tournament there last month where I got my daughter to make up the uh, my army list. It turned out I went 2-2, two and two, which is pretty nice. I just actually checked the standings today and I got 17th out of 34. So... Not too bad, right? Middle of the pack. Uh, and I was actually had pretty good scores for my uh, sportsmanship, which is great. Uh, my presentation was really low, though. And, I mean, I know I don't, I don't make, like, a fancy display board and all these things, but uh, maybe that's something I should start looking into because, you know, if it's really hurting my score, I really thought that an army like I'm taking that last time with tons of everything, it would score a lot better because it would be a lot more interesting to look at. Hey, look, he has a converted giant. He has all these different crazy units as opposed to the big blocks I normally go with. So I know I'm not a crazy good painter, but I thought at least that would bring up a little bit. But, no, I, I was really close to the bottom. So I might look at trying to set up some different... Uh, <laughs> You're, they can see you now, He-Man. He-Man, are you, are you all excited to go trick-or-treating? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he's going to be like the Black Power Ranger with a battle axe. Whatever. But <laughs> So there you go. I actually have another tournament coming up this weekend. I don't want to talk too much about it because I'll be doing the intro vid video right away here. But as far as stuff I've been painting, uh, I'm supposed to be working on my Bretonians. i got to be honest, i got one model done. Now, it is my Prophetess, so it's good point-wise. But yeah, I just really need to get more stuff done. Uh, excuses would be more that uh, whenever I had my major painting days, other things came up where I had to stay. And like there's this maid that's going to come and clean up the, the place up there in Fort Max. I'll be waiting around for her. Or my buddy called me over for a big battle game. But for the most part, I, I just have to really get off my ass and get painting. So... Uh, the way that goes for the War Seer thing, you have to do 200 points a month. So this will be okay for that, but I really got to get back and just paint lots of knights. I have them primed, have them ready there. I just need to actually do them. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, as far as armies I've been thinking of, you know, to be fair, now that the Bretonian campaign is over, the Bretonians have really kind of like left my mind. Uh, I've been thinking more about War Machine, trying to get better at that. I was listening to a podcast where uh, a guy was saying, like, yeah, I've been playing for years, what do I lose? And they're talking about, well, how often do you play? And their thing was one game a month or one game a week, rather, which I thought, yeah, I do like one or two games a week. That must be pretty good, right? No. They said if you want to be any good at War Machine, you should be doing like 10 a week. This is like to really get up there and be like the guys that are winning the trophies and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, it's one of those things I just don't have time between picking between War Machine and Fantasy. You know, I just gave up the 40K. I'm not going to be giving up the Fantasy. So, oh, we'll see, right? Who knows about 10 years down the road. But as for right now, uh, either way, as far as Fantasy goes... You know, I have a also a month-long tournament coming up here in November. I still have to decide what army to run that. Pretty sure I'm going to be doing Orcs and Goblins. Uh, got already a list made up for that. It's going to be 2,500 points. It's a thing where they, they tell you, you, this is your next person you should play, and you have like a week to get the thing done. So anyway, uh, yeah, that should be pretty fun. But as far as like armies I've been kind of working on, I haven't been buying any more fantasy. I've been thinking about if I was to expand my high elves to do a 3,000-point game, what would I do? And that's keeping along the whole mind of making it based off of monsters and stuff. And just wondering, like, would I actually start going for a second a fire dragon and stuff like that? But uh, otherwise, yeah, not much to report. Hopefully for the next one, uh, for the hobby update, I'll have a lot more painting to show you. And at the end here will be a picture of that one prophetess, which is okay, but it's no once bitten or anything like that. So there you have it, and uh, there will be another video coming up right away talking about Cry Havoc.